everyone, welcome to Cactus Caffeine. My name is Anna. In this channel, I share with you my passion for growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee. So for today, I am going to do some cactus seed sowing. And if you think I have a lot of things in front of me just to sow some cactus seeds, you are correct. And that's because I am going to do some experimenting today on um, different ways on how to sow cactus seeds. So right here, I have the different uh, materials that I will be using. I will be explaining them in detail later on in this video. And then over here are my cactus seeds. So some of them came from my own plants like these. I harvested this from my own plants. And then I also have some seeds here that were gifted to me. So right here are the seeds from Lynn of Desert Plants of Avalon. And then I have some Stapelia seeds right here. Those are from our friend from Mexico, Jacobo. And then I have astrophytum seeds and ferrocactus lattice penis that was given to me by Ate Hermi from California. All right, so let's get this seed sowing started. Before I proceed with sowing the seeds, I made a video on how I grow cactus from seeds. So it is a beginner's guide. So for me, that is the easiest way or easiest method for me to grow cactus from seed. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put a link up on the screen and down in the description box of uh, this video. So go ahead and check it out. It is how to grow cactus from seed, the beginner's guide. I'm going to start sowing with these cactus seed science grow kit that I found in Walmart. So that's a big box store here in the U.S. They were selling different types of seeds like herbs and vegetables packaged this way as well. And I was surprised to see cactus seeds as one of them. So the packaging is very, very, very attractive. It has some facts about cactus on the box and the simple instruction grow instruction on how to germinate the seed so inside the box you'll see this cup this is a carton cup with the coco qua pellet growing medium inside and this is the pack of cactus seed it tells me here that i have a ferro cactus with lizeni or with lizenii both of them have the same seeds. I tried checking the different boxes and all of them have the same type of seeds. I bought two because they were selling it very cheap. It's only 99 cents per box plus tax, so a little over a dollar. So I bought two. One, I plan to sow it according to the growing instructions that was given in the box. So it is pretty simple and straightforward it just says dissolve the growing medium pellet in one tablespoon of water fluff with fork and place inside the pot so the cactus seeds by gently pressing them into the surface of the growing medium and lightly covered with a thin layer of growing medium place in a warm bright location and keep growing medium moist but not over watered use a spray bottle to mist as necessary cactus seeds takes one to three months to germinate so that's what i'm going to do in this first box so for the other one i will be placing it inside a bag here is the first batch of seeds that i sowed so this one, I did this according to the instruction that was indicated in the box. And then another one, the second one right here, the only thing that I did differently for this one is that I microwaved the medium before I planted the seeds. I, plant, I microwaved it for about two minutes and then I placed it inside a Ziploc bag. I know that cactus seeds needs a lot of humidity and uh, you have to keep the medium moist for it to germinate. So this I think would make my life easier <laughs> than this one. But I'm going to give this one a try. Who knows, maybe the seed that they included in the package are those that germinate very easily. I am a little skeptical though about the seeds that they included in the package because both 
of them, both packages contain seeds that have different sizes. Uh, some are big, some are small. And then both of them included one seed that is rather big. I think it is an Apuntia seed. So I'm not sure if everything that was inside the package was uh, ferro cactus seeds. But we will see when and if they germinate. The next method of uh, growing cactus seed that I will try out is this method of using hydrogen peroxide instead of water. In the cactus growing seed video that I made, I always use water to wet my medium and then I microwave the medium to sterilize it. However, this time I am just going to use hydrogen peroxide to sterilize everything and we are not going to microwave it so let us see if this uh, will work i've seen a lot of seed growing videos where they actually uh, submerge the seeds first for a few hours up to a day in the solution of hydrogen peroxide and it doesn't actually kill the seeds it's uh, meant to disinfect it so what i'm going to do now is i'm just using purely hydrogen peroxide on my medium so this is coco coir pellet and i am going to add some perlite to it okay so my goal is about 30 percent perlite and 70 percent of the coco coir so i just need more hydrogen peroxide i just hope i have enough <laughs> to get this medium wet and to get the coco coir expanded I don't, e I don't know how much cocoa or how much hydrogen peroxide I'm going to use. So I'm just going to eyeball it and see if it has expanded enough. So everything that I'm using this, the spoon and the bowl, I've disinfected this using an alcohol. So I'm just going to be transferring the soil in the pots and then I will be sowing the seeds and putting them in a plastic bag as well. I will just pour a little more hydrogen peroxide on top just to make sure the seeds are moist as well. As for the rest of the seeds that I have today, I use the method that I discussed in the how to grow cactus seed video that I made. This is the medium that I use. This is a seed starting mix. This is 100% coconut qua, which is the same actually as this pellet that I used, except this one is in brick form. I used 70% of this coco qua and 30% perlite and I microwaved the medium in the oven before I sowed the seeds. All of the seeds that I sow today will be grown indoors under a grow light. And I am so excited to try out the newest model of grow light recently released by Spider Farmer. This is the Spider Farmer SF600 LED grow light. Unlike all the other grow lights that I have, this one is different because of its shape. This is long and narrow. It is 39.37 inches in length and 5.9 inches in width. This is sunlight, full spectrum. It has 384 diodes. It has warm white light, red light, blue light, and infrared light. This kind of light is ideal if you have a long table where you grow your plants or if like if you have a plant rack that's usually rectangular in shape, you can also use this grow light. I will be showing more technical information about this light on the screen. Below this video, there is also a link to the Amazon site where you can purchase this light and read more information about this new grow light by Spider Farmer. If you are interested in purchasing this light, you can also use my discount code. It's Cactus Anna, and you can use it when you purchase the light through Amazon. Spider Farmer actually came out with two models of this shape of grow light, the rectangular grow light. So they have one that is a little bit shorter. It's the SF300 
and what I have right here is the SF600 which is the longer one. Here is my setup right now. So I have this SF600 Spider Farmer Grow Light on top of my seedlings. And first impression about this light is it is so easy to install. This is the uh, fastest that I've installed a grow light. So I probably did it in like 10 minutes or less all by myself. So it is so lightweight that you don't even need a very sturdy foundation to hang it from. What I use right here, this is a clothes rack. <laughs> so we use this to hang our clothes. So that's what I use. And then it comes with this screw type of hanging thing. And it's so easy to install that um, if you need to lengthen it, like to lower or raise the light, you just unscrew. You just uh, turn this screw here so it goes up and down. And then this one is also screw type so very very easy to install so my first impression is i like that because i'm not a very techie person so the easier it is the better for me so this is my setup i have it hanging over my seedlings at about 18 inches for now but um, I will still be observing this. I don't know if I have it high enough or if I have it too low. So I will be moving it up and down as I see necessary. So these are all the cactus seeds that I sowed today. And I spent the whole day, guys, doing this. Because uh, cactus seeds, if you deal with very tiny seeds, you need a lot of patience. And also with labeling each of the bags. On my tray right here on the left side, this is where I have the seeds that were given to me by Lynn and Hans. So here are the seeds that you gave me, Lynn, Hans. So I sow them two ways whenever I can if I have enough seeds. So some of them I sowed using hydrogen peroxide, that's the H2O2. And some of them is using just plain water and I microwave the medium to sterilize it. So I did it two ways whenever I can just so um, I have a fallback if in case one doesn't work <laughs> and then on this side these are the seeds that is from my own collection I ran out of pots as you can see so I've been using uh, recyclable containers this is a yogurt cup <laughs> and then um, on the right side or oh, here in front first these are the seeds from Ate Hermi and then I forgot to mention at the start of this video, I also sowed some seeds that were given to me by Georgiana from New York. So Georgiana gave me some Astrophytum hybrid seeds from her own plants. So I was able to sow some of them early this year, but I still have leftovers. So I sowed all of them today. And then here in the middle, these are the seeds that I sowed earlier. The ones that were given to me by Georgiana. So these are astrophytum seeds. As you can see, they already germinated. And this is the cactus seed from the grow kit that I got from Walmart. So this is the one that I did following the instruction in the box. And then the other one, I did it my method where I sterilized the medium first and then sealed it in a bag. I also included some here. These are seedlings that recently were taken out of their bags. They haven't been exposed to real sunlight yet. So this is this is Areocarpus seedlings. This is Gymnocalisium, uh, Lobivia, and this is a type of ferrocactus. So I placed them in here just to see how they would grow under this grow light. This is also the first time that I use 100% cococoa as the organic medium or the organic portion in my growing medium. So previously when I sowed cactus seeds, I always used peat moss. So these seeds right here were sown in a combination of peat moss and cococoa. But my problem with peat moss is the quality that I get right here is not very good. It usually comes with a lot of bark and it takes me a long time to, you know, pick out the bark or sift the bark out. And when peat moss gets dry, very dry, it takes a long time to 
hydrate them or get them wet again so they have the tendency to repel water so this time i tried coco qua um i will see if it is as effective as um, using peat moss in sowing cactus seeds this grow light has a coverage area of four feet by two feet but i've only used up maybe half of that for now so i still have a lot of space to put more plants around uh, this area right here or for me to plant more cactus seeds stay tuned for my video i will be doing another update and we will see if um, the new method waste that i did to sow these cactus seeds will be successful okay if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants so until next time bye everyone and Cheers!